Okay guys, what we have here, my P40 Pro and my Mate 50 Pro, why we need two Huawei devices, let me show you. Today I'm doing the video everyone is waiting for and this is the comparison between G-Space and G-Box. These are the two alternatives for Huawei if you want to use Google Apps on your Huawei device. These are the easiest and probably the most stable methods to use Google applications or applications which are not working without Google services on your Huawei device. And today I will do a quick comparison. How they work, how easy they are to install and how they are in everyday life. Okay guys, first of all, we'll start with the installation of both the applications. First, if you want to install G-Space, you need to open your app gallery and just search here for G-Space. Here it is, just tap on it and just install it. Let me install it. Here on Mate 50 Pro, we will install the other application, which is G-Box. If you go in app gallery and search for G-Box, you can see you can't find the application G-Box in app gallery. You need to download it from their website, but there is also a fix for that. Your current region is Malaysia. Just tap here OK. And if your region is different than Mexico, just go to Meetup, scroll down, Settings, Malaysia and change the region, Mexico. Of course, you need to enter your password and your current region is Mexico. Just tap on it, agree it, give a little time to your app gallery just to update the region, don't bother it and here search for G-Box. And what we have now, we have guys that application that we need, G-Box. So, both the applications are available in Huawei App Gallery. You just need to change the region to Mexico and download it. Just hit install. So now here is my G-Space and here is G-Box. Let's start with the comparison. First of all, let's open G-Space and let's open G-Box. User agreement for both the applications. Just hit start button here and you need to give it a uh, permissions. Here you need to disable the battery optimization, you need to do as well that here. Because if you didn't disable your battery optimization, applications can't receive you notifications or everything you want from them. Alright, just disable it. So, okay, you need to give all the permissions, making calls, receiving messages and so on, location if you are trying to using Google Maps, just give it all the permission. This is my advice. Don't ask me, is it safe or not? This is a personal decision. I decide to use these applications. Are they safe? I can't answer you that. You can check everything on their websites. All right, just give it the permissions. To use G-Space, you need to download the necessary kit. The necessary kit here, it is implemented in the application. Here, you need to download it. Just tap continue. What we can find here, on the upper part of both applications, here with the red exclamation mark is written Necessary permissions are need to enable. Here, to improve the stability of apps and notifications, please enable necessary permissions. Of course, you need to enable the permissions for both the applications. Just tap here, battery optimization, which we already do here. We need to do that here too as well. Just enable it. All right. Battery optimization is now disabled for G-Space and just check the permissions here. Here it is, require permissions, just tap on enable and allow the application to use your location. My advice is when you tap allow only while in use, just after that open apps, applications, find G-Box or G-Space and give it the permission to use your location all the time because why? because of Google Maps. If you don't do this, Google Maps will not work correctly. All right. Permissions for phone calls, messages and files, of course. That's it. And we are ready here and here. So what's written here, Google Play Store and you can find that VIP mark there. So if you want to use a Google Play Store, you need to pay to G-Space team. But of course, this is not true. Here you can see 
Google Play icon is missing, but that's not a problem, not here or even here. If you want to open your Google Play, just hold your finger on one of the applications. For example, here, Facebook, hold your finger and select download. Tap on it. And of course, Google Play will be open. Let's do the same here. Hold your finger on Facebook and select upgrade. So the difference here, it, here it is download, here it is upgrade. Tap upgrade and both the applications now are asking for your Google account. You need to log in in your Google account, of course. Okay, now log in with your Google account on both devices. I will use the same account. All right, here we are now in Play Store on both devices, Gspace and Gbox. Let's start with downloading some applications. From here, you can just download whatever application you want, YouTube or something. Okay, YouTube is installed on both devices. Let's just open it and check if it's working or not. You can see it's faster here. So YouTube is just perfectly working. All right, let's go to our home screen. Here you can see Gspace and Gbox. Let's open it, Gbox and Gspace. Now you can see we have installed apps. Here we have YouTube and here also we have YouTube. If we hold our finger on YouTube, you can select create shortcut. Just add it. Let's do the same here. Create shortcut and add it. Let's go to our home screen now. And you have here a shortcut for YouTube with a small Gspace logo on the bottom. And you have here the same, but with the Gbox logo. So both the applications are almost doing the same job, but when you open again and when you open here, if you want to use Play Store, remember, just hold a finger on one of the applications, Facebook, for example, and select download it. Hold the finger here, select upgrade and it will open Google Play. When you open Google Play, you, get, you just can search everything inside it. Don't ask me, I don't have a Google Play shortcut on my home screen and so on. This is not important. You can do this, but today this is not the point of the video. I just want to make a comparison between these two applications. If you go back, you are in Google Play and you can do whatever you want or download whatever you want from here. What's the major difference here? Gspace, if you want a Google Play Store, you need to be a VIP. If you tap here on the crown, you need to pay one month, two euros, three months, three euros, and so on and so on. Here we don't have that option for now. It is free. Gbox is completely free. If you are a VIP uh, member here on Gspace, all the ads will be removed because you will have the ads at some point. This one Gbox is free for now, so, so you can use it without any ads. Let's just check the settings. What we have here, you can change here the theme. You can change, you can upgrade here to other version. You can also check for updates here. It is also the latest version. And you have here a settings option. When you tap it, you can check your permissions, a theme. You can check notifications here and it will open Gbox website with very good explanation how you can make notifications to work with Gbox. You have here background keep alive that is necessary for the application to work. User agreement reset virtual machine. You can reset it because these are a virtual machines and so on and so on. The biggest advantage of Gbox is their community. Of course, guys, you can go in Telegram, it's official channel, all the applications are here. Also, they have a Facebook uh, page, they have a YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. You can connect them. They are pushing their updates here. You can see we, we even have a newer version here with all the comments are down below. And here you can find even the application with Google Play shortcut on it. Because remember, Google Play shortcut is removed from that home screen because otherwise the applications will be banned from Huawei App Gallery. So 
these are the two applications which you can use to make your life easier using Google services on Huawei devices. But remember, if you want to open a Play Store, just hold your finger, select download and Play Store will be open. Tap on the search icon and search wherever you want. Here it is the same, just tap on upgrade and Play Store will be opened and search wherever you want. Simple as that. Which application is doing better job with the notifications? For me, that's a Gbox. Why? Because I receive my YouTube subscriptions here as a notification when someone publish a video or anything else and I like that here I don't receive this also for the major applications like WhatsApp and so on for some of uh, you they the notifications there may work for me personally they don't work so don't ask me why I don't receive notifications but of course you can always go to the websites of both the applications and ask the developers for whatever you want Let's just go to the home screen and open the application. Let's just queue the applications first. Let's queue everything. Let's check which of these two applications is faster. Here, of course, you will receive that ad almost every time you open the application. And this is something we, which we miss here and we like it, of course. You need to pay to GPay Steam just to remove the ads. Here we don't have ads for now, of course. If you have other questions, go, just go to developers website and ask the developers of these two applications. I just want to show you what's the difference between Gbox and GSpace and how you can use them. If you want to download Gbox, just download it from their website or just open the Telegram group, go inside and download the version you want. Gspace you can download it directly from Huawei App Gallery, you can do here the same, but you need to change the region to Mexico. Me personally for now I am using Gbox because it is a little bit stable for me and also the community here is bigger and easier to reach. If I have question or problem I just open the telegram, ask these guys and they will fix the problem. That's why I prefer Gbox and of course the most important thing we don't have advertising here so guys that was the quick comparison between gbox and gspace if you have other questions just let me know down in the comments thanks for watching and have a nice day